All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to make this a quick video. This is for your everyday nine to five workers. You don't have time to trade the market, but you want to consistently trade and buy every single week or bi-weekly. So I'm going to break it down for you. So on the website, go under accounts and trade. What you're going to do is you're going to go under transfers right here. So highlight over transfers, click on it. And then you're going to see this list come up where you have transfers right in the middle. The next thing you're going to do is where it says deposit, withdraw, or transfer money. So you click on that. And then it's going to ask you which account do you want to move money from. Just ignore this. I want you to click down here on the managed scheduled transfers. Down over here, manage scheduled transfers. Click it. And it's going to show your activity. So I'm going to break these down because I already have weekly buys where every single Monday I buy $50 of FSPGX. I buy $50 of FNILX, $25 of XLB, $25 of F FSRNX. And it shows you your next time that the money will be transferred to that account. So let's break it down. Let's take a look on how to actually do one. So the next step is you have your Fidelity account. We got to this step. We are going to click Create New Activity. Under New Activity, click under Investment, and then this pops up. Now the first thing you want to know about recurring investments is you need to choose what security type it is. So if it's like McDonald's, Coca-Cola, it's a stock. If it's QQQ, that's an ETF. But if you were to pick an index fund, you need to click on this and then click Mutual Fund. Now, Fidelity offers these Fidelity Basket Portfolios, and we'll get through that at the end of the video if you think it's a good idea or not, but I'm going to explain why I think Fidelity Basket Portfolios are a waste of time because you have to pay a fee. Why pay a fee when you can just set up automatic recurrent investments just to be pulled right from your bank account? So anyways, let's say we do mutual funds. I'm picking mutual funds because you can see on the bottom over here, I had FSRNX, I had the other one that was FSPGX, the $50, and then the FNILX for $50. These are mutual funds. So now you click that, you're going to click your account, and I'm going to click the symbol. Let's make it FXAIX, which is the S&P 500. Then what you do is you put the amount. Let's say we want to do $100. And you can do it based on what's, what's comfortable for you. So... When you click the frequency, this is how often money is going to get pulled from your bank account into this, into this fund, and it's going to buy at the end of the day if it's an index fund. So you could buy weekly, every two weeks, or monthly. If you're buying weekly, you actually pick the date. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, you pick the date, which is really nice. So I have all of mine set on every Monday. So every Monday I buy, look at it, $50, 100 total, 150 total. So that's $600 a month which is another $6,000 going into my taxable brokerage account, going into these funds. I don't even have to think about it. It's just automatic. I get my paycheck. It just shoots in. $150 every single week, $600 a month, $6,000 a year. Don't even have to think about it. So now, every two weeks, you can literally click the month, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and it shows the start date. And it's November 27th right now. And you could, you could start here and just go from there. And then you can end, you can put an optional date if you want. So if you want it to end at a certain time, let's say. And if you don't want that, just exit out. All you have to do is use a linked bank account. As long as you have your bank account linked to Fidelity, this will automatically do it for you. And that's it. Nice and easy. And let's do another quick example of just showing a stock. Because if you're doing stocks, like you have to click under stocks and ETFs. And I'm going to show you the same thing. If I put FXAIX in here, it's not going to find it because it's not an eligible stock. So what I like about this is Fidelity now offers you can buy individual stocks. So let's do McDonald's, for instance. So now I can say I want to buy, you know, $15 of McDonald's stock every week, weekly, every two weeks, monthly. The same thing as before, but I can set it for every Monday and it could just buy forever. So every time I get a paycheck, I buy $15. It'll buy fractional shares of this $281. And I think that's kind of, that's unique that you are able to now buy stocks on a weekly basis. You can set it for any, any day you want, whether you want on Thursdays, so you get paid on Thursdays, you get paid on Fridays. 
You can set it for any of those days. Maybe you want it bi-weekly. Maybe your job pays you every two weeks, every Wednesday, let's say. And then you can make it any amount you want. And it gets directly pulled right from your bank account. You just have to choose which account you're going to use. So I think that's pretty, that's pretty uh, smart by Fidelity to offer this service. And this is for free. There's no fees with this. It just gets pulled directly from your bank account and it buys on the set date that you put it. And it'll show you the start date of when it would start purchasing it. So I think this is something very valuable. And let's go into the Fidelity um, folios because there's no reason to do them if you can just do it like this and just put your paychecks in. And let me show you why. So let's start from the main page. I was on the main page just by clicking Fidelity here. You're going to go under Products. Then you're going to go under Direct Investing, which is under Products here, Direct Investing. And then you're going to see that Fidelity tries to offer you a service where you can do direct indexing. But let's scroll down to the bottom just to show you, and I'll go slow. They offer these direct indexing three ways. You can either make baskets on your own, you can build them by yourself and try to beat the market. Or you can use Fidelity Managed Fitfolios that charge you a fee or wealth management for people that have a lot of money. So the thing I wanted to focus on was the Fidelity Basket Portfolios. That's right here, Fidelity Basket Portfolios. And it's just it's an easy way that you can pick stocks and ETFs and you put them in your own basket. So let's click on Learn More. But before we do that, it just compares all three options and you can see the Fidelity Basket Portfolios, what I was referring to, is that you get 30 day free trial, but then you have to pay a flat monthly fee. But I'm getting the same service just by doing what I just did before and I can allocate how many dollars I want to do every week, every two weeks or every month. So let's click on learn more. And then it shows you that Fidelity Basket Portfolios, you charge $5 per month, so $60 a year. In my mind, it doesn't make sense. If you're buying, let's say, $100 every week, you know, even if it's $400, you're taking $5 out of that $400 every single month. And unless you start with 100000 it just doesn't make sense to be using this, this trial. I mean, if you want to try it, you can, but I just don't see a point. But let's watch a demo on it just so you can see. You like choosing which stocks and ETFs to invest in, but managing them can be challenging and time-consuming, even with spreadsheets and other tricks to help you stay on top of it all. What if there was a faster and easier way to buy and manage your individual securities? Enter Fidelity Basket Portfolios. Build a basket of stocks and ETFs and manage it as one investment. It's easy to get started. Already have an existing Fidelity brokerage account? You're ready to enroll. Simply pick your stocks and ETFs or get started with one of our pre-built models created by Fidelity experts. Invest any amount you want using fractional shares and trade each basket with one click. Want to build another basket? Create as many as you'd like and monitor performance from your personalized dashboard or as grouped positions within your brokerage account. Want to rebalance as the market shifts? Use advanced features, including one-click rebalancing, and have the freedom to allocate new contributions to your most underweight securities first, while avoiding the hassle of manual calculations. All you need is an existing brokerage account to enroll. It's that easy. For a monthly fee, you can create as many baskets as you want and trade U.S. stocks and ETFs online with zero commissions and no account minimums required. Fidelity Basket Portfolios. More possibilities. More control. So I wouldn't get all caught up with the music and the good sound effects. You're still paying $5 a month. I just I don't see any point of ever paying for a service where you can just manage your portfolio size by yourself. Let's take a look at my taxable brokerage account. We can break down the percentages of each, whether it's a stock or an ETF, of how much it holds in your portfolio. So this is my taxable portfolio that I have started in the beginning of 2023. And right now we're up $2,000 on the account of 9%, which is fantastic. This is a small account, but it's growing. And how have I done this? Just by dollar cost averaging, by buying $50 to $100 every single Monday, putting it in the account, and just forgetting about it. The only one that wasn't that was O. I bought Realty Income and I made a video on it. I bought $500 worth probably about two, three weeks ago when it was selling off down to $46. And so far I'm up 15%, which is amazing, but I'm not even going to sell it. 
I'm going to just continue to reinvest the dividends. And when O comes back down, I'll start buying some more. So that was a good buy. But when it comes down to SCHD, FNILX, and FSPGX, I have a percent of the account that is allocated to it. So in my head, I just do the math of how much money I am contributing. So if I'm doing like, let's say $100, I'll make sure at least $30 goes into this, $30 into this, $30 into this. So then you'll know, okay, it'll stick around that 35 to 30% range. And that's it. I just don't see any point of using a like FID folio paying a fee when I can look at the percent of my account that is invested. Right now I have $250 in cash because you know I transferred over $250. I'm waiting to add, but I the market's really up right now, so I don't want to add right now. I'm going to continue to wait. But then I have my reoccurring investments of every Monday. I buy $50 of FSPGX, I buy $50 of FNILX, and I, I you know I'm going to start to maybe start buying more of these. But I have a recurrent drip buying at least $100 a week each into these or split between these. And then I start building cash in the account. When I have leftover money in the month, I put the $250 in and then I wait to buy when it starts to be, you know, the market starts to sell off. So you just have to create your plan, what you're going to do. So for me, I have the auto invest going into these two accounts right here, FNILX, FSPGX, and then I build cash on the side. Oh, it's only 1% of the portfolio. I'm going to try to build more of a cash position. But then anytime I see dips, I'll buy stocks or I'll buy ETFs like SCHD. I'll buy the index fund. And that's how you do it. And all I've been doing is dollar cost averaging and I'm already up 9% this year. So that's pretty good. And uh, you can see if I just put all my money in FSPGX, it probably would have been better. That would have been 16% up. But you can't predict what the market's going to do and which stocks are going to do well. So in my eyes, I'd rather just spread it out. So I spread it out in between S&P 500, growth funds like Microsoft, Apple, Tesla, and then I have a dividend ETF. So I have it all spread out right now. And then you have allocated percentages of 32%, 28%, 2%, 35%. And I'm going to slowly add more stocks to this portfolio. So this is going to be good to watch because this portfolio is completely transparent I show it every single week, and as I get more money, I will we'll start buying more stocks, and we'll start to see the weekly investments as well. Every Monday, go into these two, and then if O sells off, then I'll start doing weekly investments into O. But that's why you build the cash position like I am. It's only 250 bucks, but next paycheck, I'll throw another 250 in there, and then we'll be looking to add it, whether it's going to be to SCHD or it'll be something new. It just depends what's on sale at the time. But I think it's good for you guys to see this because... You need to have always, like you you put money in your 401ks, but why not do in a taxable brokerage account where you're able to use this money? So this money I can sell at any time, pay taxes on it, and then I have it. So it's a better way to grow your money faster, and you're, you're doing a little bit at a time. Maybe it's 100 bucks a week, 25 bucks a week if you're new, and over time, it'll start to grow. So I always like showing these accounts because this is a smaller account. And it's good to see that you can start from a small amount and grow it because it's already up two grand. If I just kept in the bank account, I wouldn't have made that. Anyways, if you like what I showed you, please subscribe, like the channel and uh, leave a comment. It always helps. I like answering any questions.